so now we need to take for this is the our right boundary this last scale yeah yeah we will do it no problem Yeah, now if you can click on apply only, it will apply. Otherwise, it is not apply. Okay. And after that, click on correlate button. And uh, this is done. Then you can close this and click on next. Already we did departure, right? Now we can do for the array also. Correlate selection and details. And come to the boundary base and uh, you can remove this everything I removed and uh, now I am taking for this is the my left text I am considering and uh, after that I am removing this also this option value I'm taking from our right boundary and apply and click on correlate. Now we can go here and uh, see I did this one, but I'm giving for the ordinal is equal to all and ordinal is equal to all. Then after that, I want to capture randomly means so we need to write for the some function. So this function we need to write after the our what is the like generating departure error is there. So you want to capture generate randomly means you need to give for the after the departure error after the request you need to write. So what we need to write means we have the some code will be there. So we need to write that code. So. I will explain that code also. Okay, no worry about this. See, first we did for the auto correlation for the source and destination, like a departure or error. You can think about it. Okay, after that, I'm writing for the code and you can go to here. What I told we can you need to write here. Okay, don't think about we need to write the code every time. Okay, just just this is for the your scripting challenges purpose, intro point of view only this will be help but real time mostly we don't use okay and then you can come here you can observe lr parameter random so which purpose we can use lr parameter random yesterday we discuss we want to capture randomly then you need to use for the lr parameter random function and you can observe here source is there but we are given here name what departs you are given so same name you can <coughs> copy and paste it here and here what is that arrive you are given you can copy and paste it as a arrive so means what is the we had we did so you need to take that one and after that if you want here like you can observe so lr parameter random which value we want to capture randomly departure arrive so departure this arrive. value we want to save into the some variable, so load runner variable. So because directly we can't save for the this variable, and we, we need to save for the this departure value into the in our load runner variable. That is the just I'm giving for the rand uh, depart or anything you can give. Just that is the name only. Okay, rand depart, and after that here rand dest means we need to give for the RAND arrive we can give okay so and after that what i am doing means i am writing for the sum if str cmp what is the str cmp nothing but string comparison like we want to comparing the two strings what are the two strings random departure and random array you are comparing so what is the here value will be the same you need to keep here Okay, and uh, see now we are comparing for the RAND departure and RAND arrive. So what will happen means here LR evolve string will be there. Well, which purpose we can use for the LR evolve string means 
we want to for read that value like we want to read this rand departure means you want to read this value means you need to definitely we need to give for the lr eval string and after that lr eval string we are writing for the rand arrive and equal to equal to zero so for this situation what will happen means rand departure like in the rand departure it will the denver came maybe rand arrive also denver came then what will happen denver equal to denver so is if it is a source and destination same can book the ticket cannot book the ticket right cannot so book the cannot book the ticket it will capture means first what will happen if only it will execute maybe for here denver denver is not came denver to london came then what will happen means it's not equal to zero so it is a different values so then what will happen it will not execute for this part because this is a cannot be right mean not same so that is why what will happen it is come to here else part and it will execute for the lr output message so source and destination same can book the ticket means departure and arrive will be different than book the ticket so this is the way we need to write for the function so to generate for the random value point of anyone ask for the generate random value how to you can write means we need to write for this code like this so interview point of only one or two times it will ask all companies also not ask for interview question also then you are good for this just to, you can keep in your uh, notepad it in your uh, okay then it is a uh, good for the every time maybe it is uh, used for any time in uh, office also you can copy and paste it how i did copy and paste it right you can do same way so here you can observe lr save string lr parameter random departure means is uh, we are generating in the random value where in the first will be depart because we are did for the correlation where is the depart here you can observe depart and we did for the array so means this is the variable we did for the parameter name this parameter name we want to save for the some load runner variable so you are saving the somewhere right so that is why we are using for the lr save state this value we are saving to the where rand depart and this value you are saving to the array value will be you are saving to the rand array and you are comparing these two values like rand depart rand array so that is why we are using for the if str cmp string comparison and uh, after that you can uh, like enter for the lr eval string rand depart comma again we are reading for the rand array so that is why you are given lr eval string and after that we are writing for the lr output message send are same cannot book the ticket if it is same can book the ticket now we can observe how it will value is pick will observe and this is also not done right we can complete this without this your script will obviously it is fail because that is a, a coming from the server side value okay so now we'll just execute oh hi yeah. i think how many times it is executing yes one reply error also we got see now you can observe i given for the random is equal to all so uh, like ordinal is equal to all we capture all and we can observe here we are capturing for the random values departure count will be 20 and arrive count will be 20 randomly which value is picked you can observe ninth value sandy is picked here array value will be los angeles pick you can observe snd are not same can book the ticket you got message got it everyone yeah, yeah. so this is the way we can do for the lr parameter random function okay using that function we can do for the like this so
Passenger details of the same minutes, isn't it? Okay. Okay. okay, that is fine. Okay, that is test data issue, no problem. Okay, so now you can observe all values came and we are captured for the randomly. Now we'll execute one more time, we can observe. I think how many iterations it will be there, we'll see this. I think four iterations will be there. We will need only one iteration. Now we'll execute. Now the script will be paused. And then we can observe the output window. See now, you can observe RAND departure is equal to JRC pick and RAND arrive is equal to which city is picked, CTL. And you can observe message also you got SNDR not sent can book the ticket. Got it, everyone? Yeah. So, in the one more, we need to do for the local file operation. So that is the local file operation, nothing but, for example, we have the, this uh, user section value will be there. So we want to capture this user section dynamic value into the our script. So we need to write for the some local file operation, means we want to save in that script into our local file, then we need to use up for that. So now uh, how to we can write means, we need to first will be declare for the file because local uh, sorry long file how we are declaring the variable in c right like that i am declare for the variable so i will first will show you code see local file just we need to save our local machine then we are using for this see file is equal to f open this is the path nothing but we are saving for the our local file into the Kiran folder, I am saving as a e, fol e folder, I am saving with the Kiran name. And after that, what I am doing? I am doing for the printf, means I want to print the file. So which file? This everything it is saving to the where? In file. So that is why file comma percentage s slash n. Percentage s why we are given means we are capturing for the like uh, numeric data, alpha numeric data means we can give for the percentages. Slash n nothing but so dynamic value you are executing for the three iterations. Every time, three times it will generating, right? You want to for the each and every one will be the different line means you need to give for the slasher. LR evolves string, we want to which value we need to read, like which value you want to save into the local system. So I want to save this local system user section. So that is why I written for the user section. So already here I open file means you need to close the file. So that is why you need to close file. So this code we want to keep from where means above after the user section because you are doing for the user section, right? After the user section, you need to keep for here. I think my system, it will not work because my system, I don't have for the folders. Only this is uh, office laptop. I think one minute. Mm -hmm. See, my system, I have only uh, C only will be there. I'm not sure uh, this path will work or not. So anyone, uh, you can uh, try your system. Like I will share this code. Just keep it here. And what you are giving parameter name, you can keep it here. And you can execute. What will happen means it will create it for the folder, e folder with Kiran. 
can open that you are able to see the user section value otherwise anyone can share i will do for the in our system this one only for file operation narayana swami you are you can share quickly sir uh, have a folder sir can i share yeah yeah you can anyone is fine we'll do quickly and just complete Yeah. Sir, can you please share that uh, code? Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, sharing yeah. that tender code. Okay. Okay. First, I'm sharing for the only local file operation. You can take for that code in the chart window. Okay, keep it in the after user section. And I am sharing for that uh, random also. Everyone keep it in Notepad, and you can ready with that. Okay, you can save Sorry, in Notepad. Manually. Yeah, you can copy and paste it after. Uh, user section login user yeah, yeah yeah you already copied right now uh, no no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. User section. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 in your system you have the e folder yeah i have sir this one is yeah but uh, your uh, user section well name and year are different right you can go there You are given yes, user sir. section underscore C O R. You are given right. You can give for same name. Yeah, same name I am given. But dots uh, underscore C O R. You are not given right. You can copy entire value, parameter name and yeah, paste in the local file operation. Yeah, yeah. User section place you can copy. Yeah. No, no. User section is there right. Uh, you copy right. Yeah, execute. You copy. Your system E folder is there right. Yes, sir. I have. 